Meanwhile, big developments in a story that we've been following since last week. This viral video showing a man and woman firing guns out of a moving car in West Houston. Tonight, police say they have both suspects in custody. Michael Cuellar turned himself in today, and now the police chief is telling us how they were able to get to the bottom of this. We are also hearing from neighbors thankful the police have made arrests. Channel 2 Roseanne Aragon live on the west side of town with one man who says those bullets came way too close for comfort. Roseanne? That's right. He says the video shows a couple driving down this road, firing shots into the neighborhood. He says those hit too close to home. The bullets were right next to my house. It was the sound of gunfire Muhammad Ali will never forget. It came right through here. I mean, as you see the videos, you can recognize it because these lights. Three Snapchat videos gone viral. Police say they have their suspects. We take uh, dangerous conduct, reckless conduct, deadly conduct seriously. And when you're foolish enough to put it on uh, social media, I assure you that w our police department, the sheriff's department, and all of our uh, public safety partners are constantly monitoring social media, looking for these fools. Police say one business received $30,000 worth of damage. The chief says investigators with Homicide, the West Side Tactical Unit, and the Harris County Sheriff's Office worked together. Thanks to some really good police work on, the, on behalf of these two individuals here to my left, we were able to identify uh, a suspect. 27-year-old Sierra Tarbutton was arrested at her mother's home Monday. Police also identified 29-year-old Michael Quaylar. He turned himself in today. Both are charged with criminal mischief and deadly conduct. Quaylor's lawyer says the video will help. It absolutely helps enormously prove that it's not a felony. Chief Acevedo disagrees. Whoever thinks that's not a felony, if it was their home or their business, they might have a different thought. I'm glad that they're caught and they can't do much more harm. After the news conference, officers thanked our Jonathan Martinez for turning in the shell casings he found last week. Reporting live, Roseanne Aragon, KPRC, Channel 2 News.